we'll guide you through how to set any audio as your iPhone alarm. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you're going to need the audio file. So you may already have a file on your phone. If you're yet to have one, then what you can do is go and download one. For example, I use a website called Pixabay and they've got a load of free music on there, which we can go and use. So I could go and scroll down, for example, and let's say I wanted to go and use this song here as my alarm. I could go and click on the download button. I'll then get a pop-up. I'll press on download and the download will then go and begin. It's that simple. So yeah, make sure the audio file is on your phone in the files app. Now what we need to do is go and get an app to go and create the alarm with. And that app is called GarageBand. This app here, you can go and open up the app store and go and search for it. And then you can go and open it up. You need to go and rotate your phone to go and use it. And then what you need to do is locate the audio recorder. So you can go and swipe across these different options and then go and click on it just like this. Now what you need to do is just go and press okay there and you need to head to the top right and go and press on that plus icon just here. After clicking on it, you'll see this page here called song sections. Press on section A and switch on automatic like so and go and click on done. And that will give you more flexibility with the length. And then what you want to do is go to the right of that red record button and go and press that blue icon. And that will turn off a tapping sound, which we made. And you need to go and click on this icon, which is sort of three sets of lines. Go and click on it like that. And now what you need to do is head to the top right and press on the loop button. And in here, you need to go and click on files and then click on browse from the files app like this. And now we need to go and find the audio file which you wish to go and create into an alarm. So in this case, I can find it in my recents, but otherwise you can click on browse. You'll then need to press the back button in the top left a few times um, and you can then find it on your phone. But yeah, mine's in my recents, which is easy. I can then click on it and just wait a moment and it will then go and appear in this list. Just like so, it's this one here. Then all you need to do is hold your finger on it and just keep holding it and just drag it around and then you should be brought back to this page in GarageBand and then just go and position it right at the start like that. And now we need to choose the section which we want to use for your alarm. So for example, I want to go and you know remove the start. I want the middle part of the song to be the alarm. So what I've done is I've gone and selected it and then you can hold on that little bar at the start here and go and drag it just like so until we go and get to the position where you want the alarm to be. Once you've got it in that position, you can then just go and click on it so it's highlighted and then click and hold and drag and then drag it over to the left just like so and make sure you get it right to the start as it is. And you can then go and do the same thing at the end. You can go right to the end. You can then go and hold onto that bar at the end here and then drag it over just like so until you get it to the end point you want it to be. And once you're ready to go and then make it into your alarm, head to the top left and go and click on that downwards arrow, press on my songs. It'll then sort of go and save it. And as you can see, there it is, my song 10. And then all you need to do is hold your finger on it so you see this sort of pop up and you then need to go down to share and click on it and then click on ringtone in the middle and it then says your ringtone length needs to be adjusted so I'll just go and press continue and you can then go and give it a name. Give it a name and then press on export in the top right and it'll then be exporting. It does say ringtone but don't worry we can still go and use it as an alarm. Once it's finished, it will say it was successful and you can close off GarageBand. We can then go into the clock like this. Make sure alarms is selected at the bottom and click on the plus button in the top right. And then we can go and press on sound just here. And as you can see, we can go and see our ringtones and we've got the one I made called alarm. I can click on it and we're now using it. It's that simple. I'll press back, I can choose the time and then I'll press save and there it is.